Okay, so Dell just announced a bunch of brand new laptops, but in this video, I'm gonna be focusing specifically on the XPS 15 and the 13 Tune one. The 15 has always been kind of a special device, a device that a lot of creators or professionals gravitate towards because of its form factor, its lightness, and the fact that it comes with a dedicated GPU to take on more demanding tasks. The design is very similar to last year, so you're not getting a redesign from a chassis standpoint. That has me kind of worried because last year's model had some thermal issues, and I'm wondering if they were able to solve these issues with the same chassis. You are getting a big spec upgrade. This year, you get the 9th gen Intel processors. You can start with an i5-9300H or spec it all the way up to an i9-9980HK. This is an eight core processor, very powerful processor that can be put in a laptop this thin. RAM is all dual channel. Doesn't matter if you spec it with eight gigabytes or 32 gigabytes, it's gonna be dual channel, which helps with performance. You have a bunch of different hard drive configurations to choose from, anywhere from 256 all the way up to one terabyte. Now the biggest deal is definitely the display. I'm talking about a 4K OLED panel option. Over 400 nits of brightness, it supports HDR 400. It's the only option that has DCI P3 color accuracy. And I'm talking about 100,000 to one contrast ratio. I'm talking about blacks that just look beautiful. It's a display that any content creator is gonna want if they're working on this thing day in and day out. Now, like I said, because it's using the same chassis, you're gonna still have the exact same IO. And I'm okay with that. I always found the Dell XPS 15 came with the perfect balance. Two USB 3.1 ports, you still get the USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 port, so if you need a more powerful GPU at your studio or office, at least you can hook up the laptop to it. You still have the full-size HDMI, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, the big thing this year is they upgraded the GPU. You can now get it with a 1650. This is definitely a big difference compared to last year's 1050 Ti. So one of the big things that Dell did with its previous laptops was place the webcam on the bottom of the Infinity Edge display. And they did that because they didn't have any room to place it on the top and it got tons of backlash. But this year, Dell's reverting all of its products to placing the webcam on top of it. It's 2.25 millimeters big. It is tiny. It's HD, it has a bunch of software that's being used to reduce noise, but quite frankly, I'm not expecting it to be good. Most webcams on laptops are just not great, but I'm just happy they placed it above the display. And in typical Dell fashion, you still get CNC machined aluminum, the carbon fiber deck, the very familiar keyboard to last year's, the good size touchpad, which is one of the better Windows touchpads you can buy right now, and of course, Gorilla Glass 4 for the display. Now, the power button does have a fingerprint scanner baked into it. It's an option, so if you want a little bit more security, at least you can do that. The XPS 13 2 I'm not gonna spend too much time, but here's the lowdown on this thing. This thing is beautiful, it's so light, it felt well built, and I'm very excited to try it out. But the main things to take away from this is the size. This is a very light and portable laptop. You can still use the display to touch, you can use pen input. It has two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, so you have the potential to hook it up to an external GPU if you really want to. Combine that with the new 10th gen processors, and you should have some pretty good performance. You can spec this on the low end with an i3, or all the way up to an i7-1065. Now, the thing to take away from this laptop is the fact that you're getting a 16 by 10 display instead of 16 by nine. This gives you more vertical space to work with. And I find that when you're using a 13 inch monitor, I prefer closer to a three by two aspect ratio than the traditional 16 by nine. Especially if you're gonna be writing on this thing, the vertical space is nicer to have. You do have tons of options. You can spec this thing anywhere from a full HD display all the way up to 4K. Now, the battery life is supposed to be good. You're gonna have Wi-Fi 6. You can log in using the fingerprint built into the power button or opt out to pay more for Windows Hello Facial Recognition. And just like the XPS 15, the webcam is gonna be on the top of the display. So that pretty much wraps it up on the XPS 15 and 13. I am super curious to see if they fix the thermal limitations with the 15, considering it's pretty much the exact same chassis, because if they did, I'm definitely gonna be buying one. Anyways, that wraps up this video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.